Hi there. Now this is a Coulomb meter which you might have come across when you studied static electricity. So you're probably used to taking a cloth and rubbing a rod, in this case polythene, with the um, cloth and then you're getting negative buildup of charge there, okay? And then if I take the cloth and rub this acetate rod, maybe reset this, rub the acetate rod, now you've got a positive charge building up there, okay? And that's probably the only thing you might have used the Coulomb meter for. And then once you've studied static electricity, you move on to circuits. Now this video hopes to show you the link between static electricity and current electricity by way of using this Coulomb meter. So I've got a battery here. I'm only going to use the 1.5 volts there, okay? Um, so this cell on the end of this battery. Now this is a resistor. It looks a bit funny. It's actually 12 large resistors in series. So it's about 100 million ohms roughly okay uh, it's got to be very high otherwise you would break this instrument because really it is meant for static electricity experiments okay so i plug it in in series like you would an ammeter okay you normally have an ammeter in this position here okay so it's a simple series circuit from the cell through the resistor through what would be the ammeter and then back to the cell so the other connection here i'm going to use a crocodile clip and when i make the connection here I'll complete the circuit and look what happens you see the charge flowing through the coulomb meter okay um, as the electrons flow through now you could also use a stopwatch so when I connected the circuit together we could have started the stopwatch as well okay and then after a certain period of time um, you can unplug it and then that tells you how much charge has flowed and you hopefully have studied uh, Q equals IT or charge equals current times time or current is charge divided by time so you could do charge divided by time to work out the current and then you could also work out the resistance of these resistors because that was one and a half volts the voltage you would have worked out the current now q over t and so you could do voltage divided by the current and that will give you the resistance hopefully in the order of 100 mega ohms so i just thought this would be a nice way of showing the link between static electricity and current electricity